And then I cracked, mm-hmm. in my opinion, is the best project of 2018 in Arizona. Thank I you. think you can stack it up. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Strokehead. I can think you can stack it up against industry projects. Oh, definitely. Yeah? Thank you. No, like, no question. Okay. No question. So, I think... You agree, too? Yep. Okay, so, I think I think a lot of people... I saw plenty of people saying, this is one of my favorite projects right. of the year. Yeah. Like, forget locally. Like, this is mm. one of my favorite projects yeah. of the year. Mm. And this is the same thing for me. I was listening to that mm. longer... Let me... Wait, wait. Let me think. Um... Mm-hmm. Who dropped this year? J. Cole. I know Kendrick didn't drop. I know um, mm-hmm. nobody I really wanted to drop dropped this year. Yeah, not really. So, yeah, I think this, <laughs> as far as mm-hmm. listening minutes and hours, mm-hmm. I think this is the most listened to project. Thank you. I was up there with JD's stuff, too. Because I, was, that makes I sense. listen to Sorry for What a lot, too. That um, makes sense. I play flu season all the time. <laughs> FYI. FYI. But, <laughs> yeah, I, heard, I, listened, I listened to... Mm-hmm. Those two projects, like Thank you. more than I've listened to industry projects this Thank year, you. and I was listening to, um, and then I cracked continuously for like Thank you. an entire week. I wanted to make non-stop. a world. Thank you. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. And, and and when I hop on 2K, because usually I don't, you know, I don't listen to music. Right. Yeah. So, I was about, yeah. Exactly. You don't, so uh, when I so <laughs> I was like, you know what I'm saying. I would turn my Xbox on mm-hmm. when I was doing something else, mm-hmm. and then put Spotify on and play it. That's you know what I'm saying? Bad. And then, but now, <laughs> but now, I still listen to it, but I play it while I'm playing right. Xbox. Because, yeah, you've, you've I can digested it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've digested it all, and, mm-hmm. you know, now it's just for entertainment. Absolutely. Thank you, man. So, yep. Thank so, you, um, let's get into that because mm-hmm. that was just, the project is ridiculous. This Thank is not, uh, this is not a biased opinion. This is, mm-hmm. this is something that people all across mm-hmm. the state have said. I mean, thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, mm. correct me if I'm wrong. You went up to um, ninety eight point three. They played Mama Don't and Candle, and they said that Candle was the best song in Arizona. Yep. Oh Jesus Himself. That's yeah. Yep. I'm saying so. And you <laughs> know, out. featuring, featuring Shrub <laughs> Shout out Shrubhead, man. Yep. So it's out, like man. it's like for you to go on because plenty of us have been up to ninety eight point three, including right, myself, right, right. including twenty pounds. There's a lot of mm. people going up ninety eight point three right now. Shout out Justice. Check. Shout out Justice. He made that happen. I'll I'm going to shout you out, too, because mm-hmm. you were the first person I've seen anti- antagonize him. Like, hey, hold up. He made so, a billboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He absolutely. made a billboard. And that's, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Justice because that that was, that sh- that was shifted the culture. That shifted the culture. Can't argue with that. So um, there's a lot of people that went up there. Mm-hmm. And a lot of songs got played. Right. And they know a lot of, they, they've heard a lot of songs because they did right. radio. Mm-hmm. People send their stuff all the time. For them to say that "Candle" is the best song out yeah. in Arizona, they played they read they, they played it twice. They played it, yeah. They played it again last last. They played it again Sunday three times. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's the third time. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So the, fact, <laughs> so the fact that they played that song three times and said it's the best song in the state, mm-hmm. that should let you know the level of ability that was put, the level of ability, thought, mm-hmm. and time that was put into this project. That's just letting y'all know. What we about to get into, Thank all you. right? Thank so, and then I cracked. It, it's it's ten tracks, eleven technically mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. Um, let's get into Crash because really, mm-hmm. Crash is Ooh. one of the, my favorite songs. Like I've heard all year. Like, that's Thank one of the you. songs I always go back to. Thank you. Can you <laughs> can you give me a little um a little um inside of how that was as far as what inspired you to write that? What were you talking about, et cetera? Ooh, crash. Ah, I liked it. Oh man. It was the it was the climax of everything I was going through like in my whole life. I wrote that at that time. Mm. Um we had little troubles with, you know, with with other little people's at that time. Mm-hmm. We had you know my own troubles personally. Uh family uh my mental uh everything i could say that went wrong it's going wrong like you know I, there's not anything else i could say oh if this happened it'd be worse like i was just at that point and uh that was the point honestly where I, like i was about to make that permanent decision mm. you know of, what's that uh, taking my own life 
Mm, okay. Yep. Like Crash is literally about that. Like the, the verse almost killed a white man on the road today. Like yep. it starts there because that's exactly where I was. I was right there on 67th in like Indian school. And I was like before like this liquor store and, 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 and like Trump had done his thing. Yeah, <laughs> he has, yeah. and uh, and I've noticed more of an uproar of of uh, I don't even want to say the hate because it's a certain crowd of people, you know, that the hate is coming from. But certain people are getting very brave because White certain people. Pe- yes, oh, absolutely, 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 they're getting very we're brave. Keep going here. Oh, let's get it. White no, people, that's real. Absolutely, they were getting. S- so brave, like, and not that they aren't now, you know what I mean, or have that, that they haven't been, but it was just crazy because with everyday type of stuff, I would see one on the street, you know, and uh, you know, a little nod, and it was just like, you know, whoa, like, and it was just literally the demographic around me was getting crazy, and my own personal was ridiculous. So, mm-hmm. like, what, what do you got anything specific going to ask about? Like, all right, it's so a lot, it's a lot. First of all, mm. that's what I'll do. I think I think I'll ask one one specific thing about each song. There you go. Like so that. we can keep it cut and clear. Right. So basically, this I think the the beat, mm-hmm. the aggression, everything about that song kind of summarizes mm-hmm. um everything that was going on. That yeah, means absolutely. you know where the hook the hook comes on and the, the kicks and everything drop and you're just singing mm-hmm. and um you know um and the hook's based around, um, I would say it's based around the idea of suicide, right? Yep, absolutely. If I drive fast on the road, then I might just crash. Right. And, you know? and it's like obvious. Yeah, yeah you know? exactly. Right, so right. Mm-hmm. Th- when you were at this point of your, of your, um, mm. of your uh, project, was this, was this the, the, the um, what's the word? Because you got the, like the What's climax, the, the rising action. Um, no, the first one. There's the rising action and the climax, falling action. Is that what it is? Smart, man. Anyway. <laughs> so, I ain't been in school for three years. Ah, me too. So, basically, oh, yeah. I want to know, mm-hmm. why, were, was it your intention mm. to to speak in that third verse and in the, the, uh, the, um, the skit at the end? Was this your intention mm-hmm. to speak about that traumatic, uh, that traumatic aura, or 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 toxic aura that that's within the black home? Mm-hmm. You know, because in your third verse, you're talking about um, mm-hmm. um, everything that was going on and your parents and all these different things. Yep. Does that translate? Is that is that you, in a way, like kind of coding the fact, like, and in the skit, it talks about. Absolutely. She's like, oh, she's like, oh, uh, what she said. She you said, ain't no damn depressed. I was talking about you. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You were depressed. You would answer your phone. Yeah. Was that? <laughs> does that that stems from the traumatic experiences that you would have to, that black people usually experience within their homes, right? Absolutely. Okay. And I wanted to completely display exactly my relationship with every uh, immediate family member in my, you know, black family, of course. Mm-hmm. And how that relationship was. Like, even my sister, and she was just, like, kind of clowning, but it was kind of, like, extra. Mm. Like, she was just like, ah, you know, you lost your apartment. Ha, ha, ha. You know, but yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like, love you, though. Yeah, you know you, what I mean? Yeah. And it's and that's literally how the, you know, not going to say literally, but that's how a lot of my experience was in the black household. Like, I just couldn't necessarily express anything soft to my father, and I couldn't tell my mom. Hey, mom, I don't want to do these dishes because I don't feel like living right now. Yeah. Damn. Like, what do you, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I, and, and, like, you can't explain that. And I even have those arguments somewhat now. Like, with my father now, like, it's like, it's like, well, look at, hey, man, my, my mental here and me being, like, alive here and stuff, like, <laughs> it's, it's really an issue for me. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? And you just want to say that. And and they just they you don't can't. yeah you can't literally mm-hmm. you can't no nah, you can't I got my I got a whooping one time cause I called myself a Martian oh damn bro like because like and it's and it's un it's 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 out of the ordinary you know what I mean bro like, you you made this tweet or something and you was talking about you can say what in your house oh yeah you can't say what you 
You can't Specs. say what. My pops, right? Every time my pops says something, we said yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. With the S on it. What Cat Mitt say? He said I had to say hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> And we laugh because it's so hilarious, but it's that extreme. Yeah, but it's not funny, actually. You know, it's not funny yeah. at all. It's yeah, not, exactly. It's, it's, kind of, it's pretty funny. It's up. extreme. It's like, whoa. Like Kendrick, when he was like, I beat your ass, you da, da, da. I yep. beat your ass. And he just going up. Because mm-hmm. it was just like, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of white people was thinking he was just talking. Or a lot of people who don't experience what we go through, they thought he was just talking. But like, Man. people like us, we caught that. Like, oh. Yes. Damn. You ain't no damn depressed. Like, how insensitive can... And that's my mom. That's my real mom, by the way, doing that. Shout out to her for doing that and everything. Uh, yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Our relationship is a lot better, obviously, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. at this point, uh, for her to do that. She's amazing for that. Shout out to her, too. Um, But yeah, bro, like, it, it was just broken. Like, and homecoming, you know, just to get to the next, like, homecoming, that broke down a lot, piece by yep. piece. In the climax as well, mm-hmm. you know that's when my parents just got divorced. My mom just left to Texas, da da da. Like all that, all that was going down. And like, that was the that one time. where you talk about the altercation with the stepfather, right? Right. Yes. Okay. And and the two Mexicans that jumped me the same day, mm-hmm. and yeah, all that, all that, all mm-hmm. that. Like that day, man. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's se- that second half mm-hmm. of homecoming is when. Um, when I realized, like, oh my god, <laughs> like this, like I knew this fool was crazy. I knew this nigga was crazy with it, <laughs> but like, my goodness, I, I'm telling y'all, the second half of this song called Homecoming gives me the same feeling that I got when I heard "Look Out for Detox" the first time. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, it's just like the way Kendrick like kind of starts it off. It's kind of like eerie. It's like tie your moss, tie right. your moss. We do it right with the tie your Like it's kind of like it is ca- like it was just the way it you just catches you. You just like oh shit. Thank you. And then and then the way it was just fucking relentless. Thank you. Like that's it was just absolutely relentless the way you were because you get Thank to you, a fam. point. Sometimes you get to a point where you snapping. Mm-hmm. Right, you just going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and right. that's kind of how it was with this Delhi verse because I was kind of like I was. I want. I got to twenty four, and I was like, I could go for forty bars right now. Like, I, like I couldn't stop. I can't I wait. I can't but, wait to people hear that. By yeah, the way, yeah, but I know what you know how uh, I feel because uh, there was a point in the second half of that song mm-hmm. where I was kind of like, um, it was right before, um, mm-hmm. um, right before, um. A battle axe in the back of your head rapidly. rapidly. Yeah, um, chewing on the planet. This orbit is fantastic. See, double dutch with the uh, dipper. I grab gravity. Son of God, I, I use the clouds as a damn dead canopy. canopy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank what? you, bro. Thank you, thank you. It was right before that point. Thank you. Thank where you. I was like, oh my that's goodness. That's exactly when I that was. Yeah, that, and I that, was like, that was the point too. That's okay, funny. bet it worked. Absolutely. I was like, oh my god, he just snapped. The song's about to end. Absolutely <laughs> no, that, that was it. And you then the beat changed, and you was like, nope, bing, 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 bing. I was like, <laughs> nigga, hold up. I wanted homecoming to be like. I I really I wanted that, that to be the best verse this year. Like I was like, let's try to do that. That's and fire. I, like that's fi- I've never thought about that. Before. I was like, let's try to do like, let's just try to make the craziest verse they done heard this year. Like I don't know, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Thank I'm you. never gonna forget that. It's Thank just the you. way you you turn the aggression up. Mm-hmm. You know, battle axe in the back of your head rapidly. That just that's a setup. True. Yeah. Exactly. Literally. That's literally. a setup. Literally. That's it. And then. Uh, it's, uh, um, Chewing on this planet, this orbit is fantastic. fantastic. See, Double, gravity, gravity, son of God, I use the clouds as a damn canopy. I'm half God, this one and a half masterpiece, trying to be more that you ever seen a man could be. How to feel to call another man majesty? You hear crickets if you ever think of asking me. Wait, 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 wait. It was, it was before. It, it's that whole. I don't like oh, you. Wait, you. Yeah, it's that, that whole. Was going for a minute. Yeah. Home, okay. Oh, Homecoming. Because I'm thinking about the line. Um, the um. The uh, what's it called? I just had it in my head. The uh, the line, um, uh, t- I mean, hey, big cup, shit, the sips heavy, guard the king, I'm on the back of a black bro. horse, the clips ready, yep. yeah, yeah, that, that shit, to the, the machete. Ah! This moment defines mode when the Romans had their whips ready, got the edge of reality on the balance beam. The uh, t- uh, what is it? Some, some are really just a valid dream. 
time is about to run out, so they after me. It's Pell's time when you flip my first name backwards. See, and after oh, that, that's when I... And that's when you snap. Right. That's when I was like, oh, he just snapped. It's over. Thank you, Because it, it spells time when you flip my first name backwards. Like, mm-hmm. bruh. Yeah, yeah, like... That's insane. Because <laughs> the name is Emmett. Right. Literally, yeah. Like, it's like... That's crazy. I remember. <laughs> like, with the doubles. Mm-hmm. So, then there's Nina... Thank you. Um, man. I still don't understand that song. Okay. I like the sound, but I like it. I try to. I know it's deeper than it is, right? Absolutely. Okay, because I was sitting in it, because I was sitting there and I was like trying to think about it, and I'm kind of like, mm. okay, mm. I had an idea, mm. like maybe you were speaking towards the idea of having to be hard and shit like that. All that came with the impression my dad gave. So okay, okay. right. So okay. Nina is literally okay. So we call this is like insight. We call my mom. We've never called my mom mom. Like she doesn't like mom. So oh. we call her Mina. Oh, okay. Mina and Nina, my gun, me and my girlfriend, as mm. you get right. So the gun sent him to jail. Okay. He lost my mom, obviously, in divorce. Mm-hmm. I was saying pretty much how these two things he kept close to him caused his pain. I got that Nina, that Nina I got. Right. So I'm kind of like... You know, bouncing around with it, it's fun, ha, ha, ha. Nigga. And that's why the first I'm question done. is like, yo, pops. And that's why I pause it. It's like, yo, pops. And that's why I start the song the way I start the song, too, because uh, and this even happened on accident, but I loved it when it happened. The beat got cut in the beginning when it starts with, this is a, a, a lockdown situation. Fire. Everybody, That was fire. You feel me? And, and it, it was, was so an like, feel. and it was eerie, too, to me, because I was like, whoa. And literally, pops, should I go sell a rock? Get a ball fade and go tee for tops and the bottom. Big beard, I'm Ben Laden, boss. I'm the bomb. Get near this big blast of cost you. Care City Chief, my sock filled with soft. Thing on the side with a thing on my side. And the world kind of cold, but my Nina defrost. Oh, my God, bro. And so, oh no, Nina's a lot. I can tell you. <laughs> and then, and that is just... And that just explains him. You know what I mean? His literally, if you if you really break down Nina's lyrics, you're like, oh damn, this nigga dad was like a piece of work. You know uh-huh. what I mean? And I love that nigga to death. Like, and <laughs> uh, and the next part, uh, uh oh, got a four five with a four hundred one k benefit. Therefore, it can work all day. Couple pit bulls in the back with a chain link holding the gate in case the pit want to escape. Plug on the phone. Fed bug, leave me alone. Got no patience, but I keep a lot of weight. Uh, I ain't even talk about women. I don't even know if Kiera my children. That's a child we don't know about. Oh. I don't even know if Kiera my children. Gold teeth going 305 how I'm living from Miami. Head in the clouds like a head but a pigeon. Got me a daughter just from going to McDonald's. My son is my soul, my nigga. I'm going to have to break this down. So oh got me a son God. from going to McDonald's. My dad, oh, whew, this is a lot. So, so you were speaking <laughs> from your dad's perspective. All the way, right. So I, 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 I asked say, him I've the first question. like, damn, my nigga Emmett got some distant kids. Oh, yeah. Bro, shout out to Capo. Capo hit me up, bro. Capo hit me up. I was like, bro, you got, you got, you got, you got a son? I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> I was like, this nigga got, what, how the fuck does this nigga hide this shit? He was like, you got kids. I was like, no. It was so, yeah, yeah, that's that's from all my dad. My dad met both of me, my mom, and K-Zone. Shout out K-Zone. That's my brother. K-Zone mom at fast food restaurants. Oh. McDonald's. He met my mom there. He met his mom at Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all getting the exclusives, baby. So, yes, literally, that's why I say... Got me a dollar just from going to McDonald's. My son is my soul, my nigga. Playboy Green Cadillac. Three women I could find holes with a blindfold king in it. Obviously, oh that king's God. a reference, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fire. Mm-hmm. Thank so you, then thank that leads into Mama Don't. Yes. A song that I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to shout out to my guy Emmett. You, you know, feel me? Man, got me on the song. Verse now. But <laughs> I knew you was gonna execute. I knew you was gonna execute. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, when I, I just, it's kind of the same shit with the deli shit. Like, when I get on somebody's oh, song yeah. where I feel like, okay, well, this nigga is one of the best. I got to show that I'm one of the best, too. Bro, you doing you that. You I mean? You're so, doing it now. Yeah, you know what I mean? I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever the topic is or whatever, mm-hmm. like, I feel like I can't call myself mm-hmm. one of the best if I can't get on a song with one of the best and match. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to do my part. Absolutely. But you did your part. Let's talk about that. I think... Oof. We can both talk about that because we, we both understand. Mm-hmm. Well, Mama don't. It's kind of like you know what I'm saying that 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 really broken relationship. That Absolutely. 
with your mother mm -hmm. that we don't talk about. Right. Which is why that was such a, a powerful song because it's like mm -hmm. the small things, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh, you want to go through some of that? Some of yeah, that, yeah. Some of the verse? Yeah. Uh, uh, I know I like this part. The mama don't do what she said sometimes. Mama used to try and go inside my head sometime. Mama used to tuck me in the bed when I'm crying, even though I don't think she understands sometime. Mm. Mama don't know I ain't playing sometime. I be bawling in my feelings while I'm praying sometime. Uh, mama don't like when I say it one time. Mama won't like the song when she play it one time. Mama don't know how to have a conversation without hanging up when she feeling frustrated. Mama don't really have no goddamn patience when I want to vocalize how I'm trapped in the basement. Mama don't know that a nigga feel complacent and she the main one in the life that can change it. She make it complicated when the shit feel basic, even though my problems are my own. Let's face it. it. Oh my goodness, man. And that's, people love that song. They really do. Like, that's the for most real, that's the real. most played song by far. And people love that shit. So <laughs> So um yeah and then um then it goes into actually I'm going to just break down my verse a little you bit. You should. I was about to say you um, should. Um cuz I you know. So. Cuz certain people weren't certain people was hitting me. Like you should really Oh, that they don't really yeah. get it. Well, they got it, but certain lines that I want them to get specifically like that uh, one that okay. uh, niggas mama shows over me like Oh, okay. So basically, mm -hmm. one thing I've gotten really good at doing was, um, cause I like to fit the pocket when I rap. Absolutely. I like to fit the pocket. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of words mm -hmm. and say it in a way to where it's not necessarily. Um, That's artist. artist. Yeah, yeah, it's artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not necessarily um, what would you call it? Um, correct. correct. Yeah. But. You'll get it. So but I said, um, and that's why that by that line. That's probably why it sounds weird. But I said, um, mm. I said, um. Um. First line. Um, kicked out the house. Kicked out, yeah. Kicked out the house and walked right into a jail cell. That's facts. Mm. I kicked out of my house and then I had to. Um, uh, they sent me to jail for three days. I think I was. Um, it was I was on probation, but that's a whole long story. Long story short, I got my ass kicked by two security guards and a cop, and I got charged with aggravated assault. But anyway, <laughs> because of my probation, I got sent to jail. So I got kicked out the house, and then right after that. They sent me to jail. So I said, kicked out the house and walked right into a jail cell. If I would have died, we would have never had a farewell because the way she was treating me. Mm, and she kicked me out well, and didn't even yeah. say bye, none of that. So if I would have died, then it would have been like, <sighs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Kicked out the house and walked right into a jail cell. If I would have died, we would have never had a farewell. Blood ain't always fam. I should have told the older me. Mm. Wrote as many raps as niggas mama chose over me. So I wrote as many I, in my lifetime, it's just an like exaggeration, but I wrote as many raps as my mother has chosen men over me. So as many men as my mom has chosen over me, that's how many raps I've written. In other words, my mom has chosen. Right, yeah, it's, right, it's, right. it's an exaggeration. Right, right. Shit that I don't talk about. Bar, DJ Unk, I walked it out. I was never worth shit. That's a bar. I was that never is. worth <laughs> shit that I don't talk about. DJ, I walked it out, but... DJ, bank, shit that I don't talk about DJ Young I walked it out I was never worth shit Unless I pulled the dollar out 15 mama said I need to provide As if the nigga sleeping on the couch Ain't needing a job My mama literally told me She got into an argument with me About getting a job And helping the house out But her boyfriend Had no how I had no job And he was just sleeping on the couch So, But she Ooh. told me to provide Shit. 15 mama said I need to provide As if the nigga sleeping on the couch Ain't needing a job And she always loved the nigga It was hard to tell though I was in a cell way before I had a cell phone That's mm. facts I used to use my mom's phone mm. <laughs> I was in a cell way before I had a cell phone Being black was paying enough And home didn't help Yo if heaven was a mind state Then we was up in hell bro That's a reference to J. Cole um, if heaven was a mind state, then we was up in hell, bro. Never in the house, because what I need yeah, outside. If love was in the house, I wouldn't be, be outside. outside. The good come with bad, and that's what I had to learn, nigga. A damn shame. Love is something, something that you earn, earn nigga. nigga. Spitting these bark numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so then we're going to get into mm. my favorite song to this day, uh, Too, Too Perfect. Perfect. That is my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh my God, too that's perfect funny. is my shit, man. Like, I always, if I'm not listening to the project, that's the song I'm always listening to. Too perfect. Thank you. So, what is that? Is that like, because I'm, I'm, to keep it real with you, mm. with that song, I'm so into the vibe and the feeling mm. 
because music really does influence my emotions and stuff. Absolutely. So I'm so into the vibe and the feeling, I'm really not even paying attention to the lyrics much. I feel that. It's so a mantra. You get, yeah, it's kind of like, uh-huh. it's such a fucking feel. You just kind of like just, right. I know the lyrics like a motherfucker. Right. But it's like, <laughs> right. you're not really listening because it's such a vibe. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. let me, take me through that. Is that like a love song? Is that like a breakup song? It kind of sounds like both. And no. Um, so yeah, Too Perfect is like a, it's a chant, like a mantra. Like I did want to keep a lot of the lyrics the same, but mm-hmm. it's pr- it's pretty painful. Uh, when I first met uh, this lady, this woman, Brianna, um, she just seemed literally too perfect. Like mm. literally, like the, the lyrics, like you're too perfect, like bro. Literally, like <laughs> she was literally that. And, I, and like I was right at the end of it all, of her being too perfect. How? Right, so so the theory, the theory of everything. Uh, well, that that's a part. That's like a insight with life or, or whatever, as far as the song is concerned. The song was made off of a hutch only. Ah, uh, right. The song was like, dang, this is a little too good to be true. And that's exactly why I put I put Fuck. her in that. Uh, her and I'm I kind of speak of my sister in a couple lines, and those are two only women. That I've seen a perfect view of in my whole life, mm. right? And now, obviously, like Dark Knight, feel and die and be a hero, live long enough to see yourself become a villain. I'm gonna see your flaws one day. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, and Brianna, specifically, her flaws were just a lot more, not than I thought, because I knew, you know. But I, it was just the me being insecure. Yeah, being very insecure. Like, nah, this isn't like. But she was, and that's why uh, I have Adriana play. Uh, that character at the end of Mama Don't mm-hmm. like the you know bye I love you type thing. Um, so that's supposed to be Brianna. Yeah, that's supposed to be Brianna. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's supposed to be her. Uh, next year, then I'm gonna have a tape called Obsidian, and we'll get into Brianna a lot more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just leave it there. So but, that's just okay. Mm. Hell yeah! But that's my favorite. It's song. a setup though. So yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite song. <laughs> that's I crazy. love that song. That's crazy. So Thank um, you, after that comes God said. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite song. That song is fire. Thank first you, of all, Thank that you. when it when the beat switches Thank and you, you get into the oh my goodness, Thank man, you. like that was that was and it was like the perfect timing because Thank typically you. when you get into it, the way I look at projects, mm-hmm. um, I never like to put because I do the chants and stuff like that too. Mm-hmm. I never like to put them back to back. I feel that because then it, people who are like ADHD, it, yes, they start to kind of like you yeah. know. Absolutely. So it was perfect for those and I people. Just woke it up that you with, just, yeah. and the whole shit turned up, and then you had like the the catchy flow with the bars and thank all that. You, it you, was perfectly you. executed. There's just so many little things about thank this you. project thank that you. makes it, in my opinion, the project of the year thank in you. Arizona. So let's get a little, a little more about that song. Um, oh man. God said, oh, okay. That song, um, I could say for sure, shows like uh, just my uh, energy in general that I don't even necessarily show everybody. Uh, how aggressive it is, just how, I don't want to say ridiculous, but like literally, like, okay, the beginning part is just kind of me approaching God in this uh somewhat somber way um and that's how you know you're kind of taught to approach him be humble and you know present yourself this way and da 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 but like in my life when i came to my breakthrough which is why i put that in parentheses for the sound yeah. soundcloud and my breakthrough i got that breakthrough when i start talking to that man like god what's good like what's going on? Like so, like it literally just kind of helped me understand that pe- every people stuff that people tell you and people talking about that's not you know a lot of times it's not necessarily how it is. Like God that's is like fact. I talk to that man now. Like I could be like man, God, what you doing? Like even though they say don't don't question them, don't do this, don't do that, and it's like if I got a relationship with this uh, being, if I have a relationship with this being, then like you know I can't question like you know what I mean. Every relationship I have that's healthy. I can always question what you're doing mm-hmm. or ask you, you know, or come, you know, mm-hmm. whatever the case is. So why, if I'm going to have a healthy relationship with this person, which is, was a big th- reason for my depression, actually, it's just the, the the previous ways I was taught to worship God and things I was taught I was supposed to do. 
my breakthrough came through and I understood that God knows my heart that and that this 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 uh, uh talent the gift that I have literally like you better be somebody God said that better be somebody God look at me I can eat somebody like mm -hmm. you gave me a lot like you sure and I'm kind of going back run through that verse real quick okay God said, "Dub better be somebody." God look at me, I could eat somebody. Four cor full course meal on the beat. I'm a Marty, even though Grandma said, "Be cool, loudy." God said, "Dub don't hurt nobody." God, uh, Mom said, "Dub don't murk nobody." Pop said, "Son don't be no copy, don't be no uncle, don't be no Tommy." <laughs> Feet fight four from beast mode, probably. I don't know why I gotta be so rowdy. God said, "Dub better be somebody." God look at me, I can free somebody. Can't not get mine cause he don't got it. Real mm. grown man don't leech no pocket. Mm. Emotion don't be no logic. God said, "Dub nigga better be somebody." Can't you turn my pain into whip? It can't turn off my pain with a switch. I never really have to cut my wrist cause I can jump off this song. It's a bridge. <laughs> Teacher looking like, what's wrong with the kid? Mama running. The daycare, send them home with the kids. Westside, Phoenix, Arizona, and shit. Little kids probably pass around pneumonia and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Brown, I feel this beat in my soul. Got my Yahweh pen and dripping in gold. Kazon about to let his hair down on hold. Dizzy about to let his hair down on hold. God said, Emmett, why you lie to yourself? God said, He made me align himself. Crown side of mafia of the West. I could probably put the sky in the shelf. I could probably get the mountain to melt. I don't gotta ask a giant for help. I could probably get Poseidon to drown. Beat him down, give a ride in his belt. Take him back and then I tire myself. I've always been a Tyrant myself, my life is a movie. We're flying with Tulis. I could probably shoot a pilot myself. I could make the devil shed a tear. I the eye this artist mouth to ear. I can't learn to help if Jesus stare. So her being the hurt to help me feel. In the mirror, what the fuck is fear? False evidence it's appearing real. real. In the Ew. mirror, what the fuck is fear? False evidence this appearing, appearing real. real. Oh my God. That's what and that's what fear stand for. Disgust. Oh. Yep. Yo, false ep like acronym. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. That's a verse, bro. Thank nigga. you. Thank you. Thank you. And nigga, say this ain't project of the year. What? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Really they talking about it. The, the okay. They said it's their top three. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Thank you. Thank y'all, man. But we just gonna go to that song, bro. Thank you. Gladiators. Now this, I will admit, this is my least favorite song. Mine as well. So that's funny. I didn't really play this one that much. I kind of skimmed through it a little bit. Mm. Um, what catches me about mm. this song is the poetry. Mm. Yes, um, I like the representation after God said, considering because I've noticed like from the beginning to end, it's kind of like mm. you're going from the sh destroyed and yeah. then all the way you're right. Kinda like, Rising back hey, up, absolutely. and then I cracked. Absolutely. You know? So it's kind of yeah, like um, gladiators represented that as well. Yes, right? and I answered my calling at the end of God said. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the phone ringing the whole time throughout the tape. Uh, seems like it's my siblings. I'm in a I'm in a matrix. Okay, so uh, uh, if you uh, this is extra, but on Twitter I put like a matrix background for my uh, cover for a little minute. Mm. Uh, that's what this is. Me in this position of going to kill myself is like the matrix or me being unaware necessarily. But coming to that point, like, whoa, nothing is what it seems like it is. And that For made real. me grow. That is what, like, kind of the whole thing. And so the phone's ringing and you hearing these voicemails from my people. But they literally just like, let me explain this relationship. Let me explain this relationship. Mm -hmm. This is how this relationship was. And then, like, duh, 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 I finally answered my calling, you know, mm. glory to God. Then, you know, gladiators. And the fight begins because when, you know, in, like, the religious world, of course, when you start going on the path you're supposed to be going on, the devil start working extra hard. And, like, yep. and that's, you know what I mean? And that's that's real, even beside from, like, religion, Super spirituality, real. all that. Stupid real. In he every start, sense. You tell me, like, you start getting it. That's how I know I'm, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We on the right path, like so. Gladiators was just like the yeah, devil coming right, right yeah, away. Yeah, the devil going in, going in like a motherfucker right now. Oh, I tell for you real? that much. <laughs> I tell you that fucking much, man. It's getting crazy. He, he oh, he overtime right now. So um, mm. then there's um, honestly, mm. I think the song's underrated. I agree. There's um um the song with Delhi Capo and and you on it. I forgot Absolutely. what that song's called. Take the world. Take yep. the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think like this is one of the best songs on there. I, I don't you. go back to it, mm -hmm. but 
I don't think it's one of the songs you're supposed to really go back to unless it was you all, need it. Right, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So the absolutely. fact first of all, shout out Delhi every day because he was able he's he wrote shout out. 300 motherfucking 60 plus verses and shit. Plus. 60 songs. And it's not even just 360 verses. These, some of these songs are two verses. Some of these songs are yeah, hooks sure. and all this. For him to get on this song and still snap is just like Snapped. incredible. Like He got on there. He started talking about um, all of his inner um, demons. Man. And all his, you know, which is something you wouldn't... You know, I never really thought. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was very... It's very cool, especially because um, I see him as such a... A right. high, a high, a high, um, mm-hmm. um, uh, the statures. Yeah, like stature. Mm-hmm. Where, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like to, I'm weird as fuck. I'm weird <laughs> as fuck, but I told nobody this. Well, we gonna do it. Fuck it. When I, um, when I think about the artist out here mm-hmm. and, you know, the position I'm in, the position they're in, mm-hmm. the way I kind of navigate it is I use like the anime Naruto, right? Mm-hmm. And I kind of use that as, navigation as to where I believe everyone's at currently. Oh, I like that. And personally, I believe Delhi Every Day is like the mm-hmm. Hokage right now, which is like mm-hmm. Hokage was like the um, the leader of the... He's like the chief of command of the Leaf oh, Village. Oh, okay. That's how I look at Delhi Every Day. That's tight. So to see, so to see him... It. Yeah, so to mm-hmm. see him get on a song like that and express mm-hmm. those inner like suicide demons. Bro. Because that's the lowest of the low. You know what I mean? That Ooh. was just intense for me. Yeah. And then Capo's verse. Capo, that's the Whoa. best verse I've ever heard Capo speak. Ever, ever. Ever. And I feel that way as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and he showed me uh, Delhi real quick. Mm-hmm. Man, Delhi really, real quick. He just gave me a lot. And when he gave me the verse, he was like, this is more than a verse. Mm-hmm. I want you to know that this is, he's like, I gave you something. I was like, thank you. Cause I wanted something. I literally got a piece of everybody from everybody. Yeah, everybody was like, Ugh. exactly. Literally, it's every- deeper than just rap, man. Like Capo, you would I I would have never expected Capo, especially because in my opinion, Capo was such a right. hard shelled, absolutely uh, mysterious, absolutely kind of like just you know just absolutely don't show nothing. Absolutely Powerful to see to that man, absolutely, and you know he's been wanting to say it, absolutely because of the way he rapped it and the verse. He had so much to say. I gave him that. Like yeah, he had. And Mama, you dig your job well. The way from you, my life was hell. hell. Like literally, you don't. Yeah, he went Ooh. the fuck off, and then your verse on top of that was Thank just you. high level. Thank just you. Just on a lyricist, yeah. even just on a lyricist spectrum, Thank like you. it was Thank just you. like. Even mm. speaking from that perspective of yourself, you were still able to s- mm. rap at such a high level. Right. And I think it all Thank comes you. together. Thank so this is the song where 98.3 was basically was saying that this was the best song in AZ. And I think it definitely, um, within the project, it definitely shows um, mm. its uh, its place, right? Especially right, right. after Take the World. And mm. it's kind of like after you accepted what's going on in the Take the World, you really, um, in... Candle is kind of like a, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Well, you know what I mean? Like Somewhat a, of a release, right? Like you, you, you're good, right? You're good, absolutely. After all that, absolutely. The end, the end was um, the the most significant line, mm-hmm. um, in my opinion, was the uh, mm-hmm. um, you say you you are. I don't want to fuck it up. You are in the dark, but you got light in your candle. It's, it's yep. I know that's not right, but you, it's may, like, yep. mm-hmm. you may be in the dark, but you got, you got light in your candle. candle. Mm-hmm. So it's like I think that's the most significant line Absolutely. in the whole thing because Absolutely. it expresses so much in such a small period. Mm-hmm. Your verse though oh. was just fire. Thank like, you, man. It just sounds like a classic. Thank you. Verse. This whole vi- this whole song has like a classic vibe to it. I was thank you all the way down to the <laughs> sure. all the way down to the um to the Lauren Hill appreciation absolutely um which was perfectly placed thank you thank and um your verse that's one of my best, my favorite verses on the whole entire project thank you wow and then JD's verse that's one of his um that's one of my favorite verses bro everybody bro he he got the fuck off like he snapped everybody was like <laughs> Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For it just real. gave me. It just gave me real like. Mm-hmm. Um, it gave me some real mm-hmm. classic old school vibes. Like that's fine. You know what I'm saying like it, it, it's radio material. 
Thank you. We're really, like it's really radio material. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that's why they played it three times because it really yeah, is did, radio yeah. material. That's Thank something you. you hear when you're going to work. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Something that get people through the day. Thank um, you. You want to go through the process on that? Yeah, uh, Candle kind of puts it all together in a way. And uh, I think a lot of people don't necessarily get these two polar opposite points. Uh, homecoming, I speak about the time reference. You know, the the name backflip. Uh, also, this one, I... Um, <clears throat> Mama had a surprise. They contemplated abortion, but somehow I arrived. Maybe from mother ships and ancient hovercrafts, doing ancient other maps and planets deep inside the skies. Sent the earth to this. That's on my Andre, by the way. This that is very Andre. Sent the earth to help set destruction that's in your mind. Evil can't live if you face it forward, like left to right. Mm. And, and uh. In track two, I mentioned my name backwards. It's time turning forward. Now I emit everything that's light. So at really, the whole thing of it all is God isn't ever concerned about time. Man has been concerned about time. Mm. And that is in the beginning why I'm just giving, reading off all my bad things that's going on in my life. I, I flip the time. I'm worried about time at this point. Ah, uh, right, and I am. Oh my God! Right, it so feels, I'm. So I. Well, you first name because you're worried about time, and then right, and your I flip it. Changes, and it goes to I admit every it's perspective. Exactly. What? So if I were to look at this situation this Nigga. way, even though it's so dark in this room, this light is very bright. Wow, and can lead my way wherever I'm at in my radius. Wow. And that's that, intense. Right. And that's to lead it up. And that's that comes with me answering my call and then finding my purpose and everything. You know, admit, admit, admitting light now. Literally, it's not about time. I was worried about time. I was like, man, I'm running out of time. Or do I got enough time? All that. That's correct. And that's really what we all... Tripping off of tripping time. Off. And I was just like, okay, it's not a... It's literally about me radiating. I... You, I'm gonna tell you that afterwards. Okay. But I heard I heard this crazy. They they did this crazy ass um mm. um test on this gorilla mm-hmm. that's based on around time and Ooh. him acknowledging that he's gonna die and the way he reacted was fucking crazy. Whoa! But okay. I'm gonna tell you afterwards. Anyway. Wow. Now you were the feature verse on the. Can you see this one? Sure, but sure. Yeah, feature verse on the fucking project. That was great, sure. Um, can you go through? Cause that was that's one of my favorite verses on the project. Absolutely. Young, Absolutely. But uh. <laughs> But um, that you really, you really got off, like you snapped. That's really one of my favorite verses by you. Can you go? Can you take me through that process? Um, I dealt with shit that I don't care to explain. I have this big issue, and re- it's honestly been kind of like mucking up some of my relationships because mm-hmm. I just don't like to communicate. Because I was always told, I, I was always told. I'm pretty sure y'all can relate to. You always told when you be depressed or whatever. It's even just your mom being mm-hmm. on what you got to be depressed about. You mm-hmm. know, my mom, you know, you don't pay bills. You know, right. you live, you a kid, go to school, you know, so it's just like, I dealt with shit that I don't care to explain from welts on my skin to the death cells in my brain. brain. Mm. Welts on my skin getting my ass beat from either my mom or my dad. Mm. Death cells in my brain from, you know, substance abuse. Mm-hmm. Death mm-hmm. cells in my brain. Uh, and then the whole, you notice how a lot of rappers are starting to pass on to the other side due to overdoses. Absolutely. Yeah. Pressed pills, you know, yeah, that fake was, ass Xanax. That was... You know, pill so pressed any cell could take your children, but it don't matter because I'm making a killing. You know, I'm Ooh. literally making money, but I'm also killing somebody. You know? <laughs> That's but great. We just trying to get by, and mm-hmm. it was just I had to I had to tap in. This is the first track I've ever done with Emmett, and I this finally is literally my big brother. You know, it's my blood, bro. So finally, like, absolutely. He's always he's watched me and Jason from like day one, so it's just I have been looking at y'all for a minute. Very valued, so I had to tap the fuck in and just. Speak the real shit. And Absolutely. I've been, I've been Thank doing you. that lately. Thank I've been, you. I've been able to just rap. Absolutely. You know, like rap. That's like, awesome. Blessing. Just rap. Like, just, uh, mm-hmm. like, my two favorite verses that I've ever written are is off of two things for certain mm-hmm. and Candle. That. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank like, you. Those are my favorite <laughs> Those verses. Those are, yeah, them features is crazy. <laughs> And it's like, I feel like I could relate this to that candle thing. I feel like cause Absolutely. We had a conversation. Absolutely. Bro, everybody I came to, I made sure they could somewhat relate to what I had them on for that feature. Yeah. Because it didn't thing. it didn't necessarily make much sense for me to just be like, here's Why? some rappers. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh no. You got something to say here. You got more to say here. I know you don't talk about this at all. I need you, to, you know what I mean? Like, nah, everybody. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, bro. Yeah. It was fucking I, I do get that classic feel from it. It's, it's, Thank you. I really it's, it's great. Back. 
it's so crazy because it's kind of like cuz 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 even with um two things for certain like it wasn't it wasn't the project it wasn't like the most popping song yeah. mm-hmm. but it was like it had that same you know, people call it a classic, classic and things like absolutely. that. Absolutely. So it's great. It's, it's got, like you got that effect of some Bro, shit. Bro, like, that's what it is. Yeah, and I, you know, you know what you, it's like when you, because you know you want it on him. I remember you absolutely. telling me that. Yeah, he well, was like, yeah, he was doing your verse, and I was yeah. like, this sound, I was this like, sound like, this like some shit, huh? And I was like, hell yeah. He said, like, yeah. I was like, all right, that's it. And then, um, yeah, he, so he knew that he wanted you on it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's crazy. It's kind of like you have that, it's kind of like you have that. Like mm-hmm. that feel, like that you, classic feel. Yeah, you right? feel a song that's kind of classic in hip hop, and you just like, JD. I want to get struck on it. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to like tap mm-hmm. into that now. I feel like, I feel like because my last tape was literally just explaining shit that was happening to like a couple months prior. Mm-hmm. And just Dang. like you know, except for my grandfather's death, that was like years beforehand. Right. But mm-hmm. um, I feel like this this next tape, like I'm really just. Like I have substance now. I Absolutely, just, I can just go. You got substance before. Yeah, I'm about to say I, like, you got I, yeah, substance. I can just, like, go. You definitely got some substance for it. Way more than a lot I of just, people. I could, I could go this time. Like I feel like I could uh, touch all realms. You know what I mean? Like absolutely. I'm not from the hood like that. You know, mm-hmm. you've been in bad parts, but it's like I feel like mm-hmm. I can take from everybody. And speak absolutely. For everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean? The best artist could talk about any situation. Yeah. I ain't even been in a situation, true. but yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's. Thank yeah, you. and that's what I feel like. I found myself. So I actually thank mm-hmm. you because I feel like thank since you. I did that collab, like that shit, I'm like, damn. Thank you. Know? you. I'm Strobe. Yep. Absolutely. So, so I got Absolutely, Strobe, one family. of the best in the shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, let's close it out with Granny said. Mm-hmm. Um, really, since we running short, mm-hmm. I want you to just rap it. Got you. And um, once you rap it, just speak to me about the pivotal points. Okay. In, uh, in Granny. Just give me the overall concept of the whole song. But okay. if you know the lyrics, I don't know why I just said that. I was about to, well, I might not know the lyrics. That's why I pulled Oh, okay, bet. But yeah, I, I struggle with remembering my lyrics, so that's probably why I said that. I <laughs> no, with for sure. Like crazy, for whatever reason. Okay, well, I, I'm going to just see what I remember. So it's like, <clears throat> Granny said, honor thy mother and father I. Pray to reach higher heights. My knees sit on the sky. Granny said, lift my hands. Granny said, just because my jeans are hereditary doesn't mean I can't get different pants. Granny said, to speak life. Say your prayers every night. Wake up in the AM and thank him because the sky is bright. Granny said, if he's for you, no one can be against you. That's why enemies get weary with my hand on this pencil. Granny, keep me in line. Uh, follow her like a stencil. Then maybe I can illustrate everything she resembles. It starts with stars and symbols, everything that we've been through. So when you look deeper, you see the answer is within you. No gold chains, no jewelry. This propane uh, is assuring. I propel out of hell because no propane can endure me. I... <laughs> <My fault. laughs> I propel when, uh, cause no, uh, uh, no propane can endure me. I'm propane when it comes to life because no pain may short me. Granny uh, stated, you stay standing, you might stifle the story. Uh, don't be frightened of auras. Don't be frightened of horrors. Be enlightened of auras. Borealis, pour my chalice up another aurora. We can conjure a roar up when the Lord is before us. Uh, the enemies behind us, we can face and destroy him. The air, the forces in my air, night pair on my doorstep, lace them, kicks up, I'm Liu Kang and I'm Norris. Got jujitsu on my endorphins, this year euphoric. Thank God the plans that abort me somehow was aborted. All the way down to the hair on your chin, be the tortoise. Uh, be everything like water because it's formless. Eleven tracks on the eleven. I'll open the portal. Rest in peace to you, Granny. Promise to keep you immortal. Oh my God! Eleven tracks on the eleventh. I'll oh, open the portal. Good. That that is so well written. Thank you. Uh, the ability Thank that you. you display in that is just insane. Thank you so much. Um, I think with this project, this is honestly. My mm. favorite project of the year. I'm talking Thank you. of anything dropped. Um, <laughs> you crazy. That, 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 that goes, I don't care. That's my favorite project. <laughs> I'm talking, yeah, for real. I'm talking like industry, local. Thank you. My favorite project of the entire year. There's Thank so whoa. many different elements. Thank you. And I think it's bo- nothing is objective when it comes to, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like a lot of things aren't even objective. Yeah, Reality I feel that. subjective. Right. So absolutely. it's like, mm. but I think it's borderline objective that. That project is the best pro- AZ project of the year. Thank you, man. There's not too many other projects that can step up against it. Uh, I think Thank you so much. What, I think Slater Black's mm-hmm. project, Blackfoot Road. Shout Runner. out. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of that, mm-hmm. no. 
Thank you. Um, Thank you, man. Um, honorable mentions is the Capros, uh, Filibertos. Love the way he did that. Love that shit. Love the way he did the, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he but did the short film. As far as, I've listened to mm-hmm. almost everybody that's dropped this year. Um, Splash got some of my, got one of my favorites. Splash, um, Lamar that Crushing's please. project is honestly one of my favorites. I heard Crushing because um, of Eddie. Mm-hmm. Yep, and a lot of, and, and there's, there's a few more that, that are some of my favorites, but. Mm-hmm. That's the best project of the year. Thank you. Uh, you heard it here. We're going to keep it like that. Thank you. So thank you for coming up here. You thank know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? In with the fucking <laughs> pre. We're did. We going to do a part two because. We're going to we do a part two because we're going to talk about um the 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 impact in which you, what you were talking about. We're going to talk about thank those you. things in depth. We can't not talk about that. Let's get it. So mm-hmm. because we on short on time, we're going to have to cut this short. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my guy Emma Dupree, Shout and then I cracked on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple, Spotify, Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music. You are not wasting your time. Go listen to this. I've only had two artists up here, two artists. Right. Only the real can come up here, Thank man. You. That's it. Only the Thank realest you. can come up here. There's a lot of people who been asking an interview. Only the realest can come up here. There's only been two motherfuckers up here, man. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank so shout you. out to him. Shout out Kappa Bravado. Shout out everybody in the scene. Shout out Delhi every day. Shout AZ out. up. Shout out. Best project of the year, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I give Delhi every day artist of the year because of what he did. Absolutely. But as far as just the overall um content, et cetera, Thank whatever, you. I think the uh Emma Dupree is artist of the year Thank you. in Arizona. That's my you. opinion. Thank you. But shout out to you and Delhi every day. Y'all definitely led the way shout this out year. Dales, y'all killed man. the shit. Mm-hmm. Um as far as content and what y'all provided. Shout out to you and that am I supposed to be keep that quiet next year? Happy February. Oh no, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna cut I'm that com- out. I'm, this, <laughs> I'm coming for my next year. That's all y'all need to know. I was quiet this year. I'm coming for my next year. But sure. shout out my guy. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it popping. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. You feel me? Keep tickling them toes and you know what I'm saying, tucking Tickle in your baby. Toes. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Shout out to y'all.